Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to a new video. So in this one I'm going to be showing you guys a Nightmare Zone method I've been using fairly recently that is a little bit less efficient than ones I've shown in the past but a lot more AFK for still pretty high rates. I'm able to leave the room for a few minutes at a time and still get like around 135 to 140k an hour melee XP doing this method which is really really good so I'm going to show you guys how it exactly works and basically how easy it is to get really high melee rates, nearly AHP with very very little effort, even less than in my uh, previous videos. So I'm gonna head over to Nightmare Zone using the minigame teleport and get geared up at the bank. Oh, I can't use minigame teleports from my house. Um, actually my house is in Yanel, I guess we'll just walk or run. So the setup that I use for this is of course a Dwarven Rock Cake since I'm using the full Derox set effect and you need to have low hit points to get high DPS with that. After that, I take two overloads, so you can last about 40 minutes in there with this setup. The main thing that we're using here is Poison Crumb ones, and you basically want to have one for every dose of your overloads, except minus the first dose, since you can bring your HP down to one initially. The reason that we're using these Poison Crumb ones is because they deal five damage, and it's like a poison hit splat, and it hits through absorption, uh, whatever you want to call it. it hits through the absorption potion effect, so... That's really good, because normally the only way to keep your hit points low when you have absorption potions active is to turn on and off the rapid heal prayer once per minute, which is not too difficult to do, but you have to keep a timer going and stuff like that, and that can get a little bit annoying if you're really trying to AFK. And other than that, I take 10 prayer potions and 8 absorption potions, and this seems to be a pretty good ratio, it works out well for me, and if, you're, if it doesn't work out quite as well for you, just adjust things slightly to go towards whatever you need. As far as the gear setup, um, I'm wearing just max strength and full Derox. Uh, the Amulet of Torture and Primordial Boots are fairly expensive, but can easily be replaced with an Amulet of Fury and Dragon Boots, uh, which will give you only a tiny bit less DPS and it will be a lot cheaper. So you can do this setup for like under 10 mil, like full Derox is like 2 mil or something, and Berserker Ring is like 3 or 4 mil, and you can view it, and then this is just a Fire Max Cape, it's the same thing as a Fire Cape, just looks different. Um, and then of course bearer's gloves are basically free so you can do this very very cheaply and you do want to use piety with prayer potions it's definitely worth it i mean piety gives you a huge increase in damage per second 25 percent strength 23 percent attack that's a lot so definitely worth spending some money on the prayer pots to get very much like very significantly higher xp per hour um so the, basically the way that this is actually going to work i think i already have a dream set up with dominic onion yeah but what you want to do is go into, when you select Dream with him, you choose Customizable Rumble. Um, and then once you go into here, the bosses that I've been using are Count Draenor, the Kendall, the Moss Giant, Arg, and the Ice Troll King. The reason that I'm using Ice Troll King, Arg, and Moss Giant uh, is because those give damage, or they give XP boost for the damage that you deal in comparison to normal monsters. Uh, I talked about this in a previous video, basically, I, I forget the exact numbers, but they give like between 10 and 20% more XP per da like damage point that you actually deal because they're quest bosses and that's just how they're coded for some reason. And a lot of bosses are like that. Like For example, the Court Beast I think has the highest in game of 55% increased XP per hit, which is crazy, but of course you can't fight Corp in here. Um, another one that does work is Dad, and I have that activated in a previous video that I showed. If you want to pay a bit more attention, Dad is good, but his knockback effect will lose you a lot of ticks if you aren't paying attention to like click back to attack monsters every time you get knocked back. So since this video is all about AFKing a lot, then I have Dad turned off, and instead I just have two normal monsters, which are Count Drainer and the Kendall. Both of these have pretty low defense and pretty high HP, so that's pretty much ideal. And yeah, the raids work out really nicely with these monsters. So. I'm going to go into the dream and uh, I'll show you guys how I get it started. So what I do is I just Dwarven Rock Cake, uh, I guess, five times, and then I drink my Overload. And then if you get the timing just right, you can... Uh, well, I messed it up, but basically you can just uh, Overload and then Dwarven Rock Cake down at the same time, or you could Dwarven Rock Cake a few times and then Overload, and then you can do one Dwarven Rock Cake in the right timing, and it will get you down a little bit easier. But Basically, get yourself down to 1 HP, and then drink up all of your absorptions, and you can drink a bunch of absorption doses in one, in like, without any tick delay, if you drink different potions. Fun little tip. So just drink yourself up to a thousand absorption damage, and then you'll have some potions left to drink throughout the dream, and put on your piety prayer, and just begin AFKing, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, basically, you just have to click your overload once every five minutes, you have to click a poison crumb once every five minutes, and you have to drink absorption potions a little bit. 
and you have to uh, drink prayer potion. You have to drink a prayer potion dose once every about 50 seconds, so you can AFK for about 3 minutes in total before you have to get back and drink your prayer potion, so 3 minutes of full AFK is pretty nice. So it's basically like 7 clicks per 5 minutes to do this method for like 135-140k an hour melee XP, 2 two clicks for overloading Karambon, and then around 5 clicks per 5 minutes for uh, drinking your prayer potions, and that's really it. So this is a method that I've been using uh, for about a week now, just because I've been focusing on a different account and I've been wanting to get good rates on my main while still remaining very, very AFK so I can fully focus on this other account, which is my free-to-play account. Getting close to 99 range on it, I decided to start prayer flicking for the last bit of XP just to get it done a bit faster. One thing that's important to keep in mind with the Poison Crombons is that they are kind of buggy and the damage hit splat does not always register under certain circumstances. I haven't 100% figured out exactly what causes it not to work, but I've found a few things that seem to be fairly consistent. Um, for one thing, don't ever eat a Karambon while your overload is damaging you, because it seems like a lot of times it causes the damage not to show up. The other time I've noticed is eating it in relation to a certain time when the thrower trolls are attacking you, the ARGs. Um, if you eat a Karambon like, right as one is throwing its rock at you, then it won't register the damage, and I have no idea why, but that seems to be the case, so um, basically you have to like wait until one has just attacked you and you've already seen the hit splat from that uh, rock come at you and then eat your Karambon and you should be good. It gets a little bit more difficult when you have like two or three of the trolls on you at once, and it can be nearly impossible to get them to work, and it's really frustrating when you eat like several in a row and the damage doesn't show up, but... Yeah, you kind of just have to keep that in mind, and you might want to try to prioritize killing ARGs if you're paying a tiny bit more attention, just so that you don't have a bunch of them on you when you need to eat the Karambon. Um, maybe this will be patched. I did send a bug report about it, but who knows if it will be something that's high priority to Jagex, but it is really strange how the hit splat just doesn't appear sometimes, because I don't think there's a chance of it not working, it's because it only happens in those certain situations, and... If you look at the game filter, like if you have the game filter turned on and look at the chat box message, it says the same thing no matter what when you eat it, so I don't think that there's just a chance of it not damaging you. It has to be a bug, which is strange, so yeah, that is something that you, you have to keep in mind and just pay a bit of attention to uh, when you're actually eating the Karambon, um, because that can happen and it's kind of annoying, but most of the time it's not really an issue, uh, it's just a good thing to keep in mind. Hopefully this is helpful to a lot of you guys. Um, it's similar to my previous NMZ videos, but just a little bit of a different setup, and uh, something that I've found to be pretty nice. It's very, just the amount of effort, it's, the XP passes by so quickly because it feels like I'm hardly doing anything at all. I've done like 8 mil strength XP here in the past like 5 or 6 days, and really feels like I've done basically nothing, so very easy XP. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the video today. Hopefully it's been helpful to you, and feel free to drop a like if you, if you did enjoy it. One more thing to quickly mention, the way to get poison Karambons, you have to cook them yourself, and you just choose the cook like poorly option when you're cooking Karambons instead of cook well. But yeah, they're not tradable, so you do have to cook them yourself, but it doesn't take too long. But yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys all later.